Hi everyone, I hope that you're having a great day today. I'm getting ready to supplement a bag, so I thought I would film a tutorial. So I'll show you the bags that we're gonna use today. These are the Cricut brand cosmetic bags and you get three in the pack. So the largest size is nine by seven and a half inches. And then you get two of the smaller ones, which are nine by 6.1 inches. So I just like using the Cricut brand blanks because they're meant for infusible ink. So they work great for sublimation. And I already went ahead and printed this adorable unicorn. So I got this unicorn off the site design bundles. It's part of their plus membership. So I like to get a lot of my images for sublimation either from design bundles or Etsy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim around this unicorn image and then press it on my bag. So I got my image cut out, but I wanted to give you a little tip. Now, if I was to press this image onto a t-shirt, I would have ripped the paper instead of cutting it with scissors. I just feel like when you rip the paper and then you go to press it onto a shirt, um, the press lines aren't as harsh. So that's just my own um, personal experience. I feel like what works best for me. But since I'm just putting it on a bag, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this image down with some heat resistant tape, and then I'm going to press it. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press. I have it set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna press it for 60 seconds. So this is the nine by 6.1 inch cosmetic bag. And then I went ahead and cut a piece of butcher paper that's a little bit smaller than the bag. Just make sure that your butcher paper is larger than the image that you're using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this inside of the bag to make sure none of my ink bleeds through to the back, just to protect it. Whenever I'm using my Easy Press to sublimate, I like to just make sure I have a piece of cardstock down on my mat. And then I have some butcher paper down. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this in half just so I could find the center. And then I'm gonna fold my image in half. Just make a little crease mark. And then I'm ready to just go ahead and tape this down. And I like to use four pieces of tape when I'm using the Cricut Easy Press just to make sure that I don't move my image around because that will cause ghosting. Okay, next I'm gonna move this to the edge of my mat so the zipper hangs off because I don't wanna press the zipper. I want to make sure that my whole image is still on the mat though. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to cover it with butcher paper and now I'm ready to press it. So I'm just going to place it straight down on my bag, being careful not to move it around. And then I'm going to apply light to medium pressure and just wait for this to count down from 60 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my butcher paper. You can see some of the ink got onto the butcher paper, so that's why it's nice to have the butcher paper down to protect your heat press. So be careful, this is really hot. Now just another tip is when you go ahead and remove the paper to just remove it right away. You don't wanna slide it across the bag because that will also cause ghosting. wanted to go ahead and give you a close-up look how the cosmetic bag turned out. So thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!